In the final lap, Mikey Brannigan broke away. It's going to be Michael Brannigan for the United States. Finishing first by a full four seconds. His family in the stands, his old high school in New York, cheering him on. Mikey is the first American runner with autism to win gold in the 1500 meter at the Paralympics. It feels really special. I'm really happy and excited to do that. I'm so happy for Mikey. I am so happy for the United States. All of it means so much more when you know what it took for Mikey to get here. Diagnosed with autism at 18 months old, he didn't speak for years. At three years old, they told us to start getting on waiting lists for group homes because the good ones are 12 years long. He used to run into walls, but when he was seven, his parents found a way to channel that energy, a running club for kids with special needs. It became his passion. Do you think autism makes you a better runner? Um, a better person. A better person? Every time I brought him to a race or a practice, um, he was just a regular kid. You know all the other stuff that goes on. Everything goes away when he's out on the track. Michael Brannigan, world champion. My son is taking me all over the country, all over the world. My autistic son is showing us the world. Now he dreams of Tokyo in 2020, crossing over from the Paralympics to the Olympics. That's my main shot, and I'm going to keep on practicing and then improving and getting stronger from here. He's already a winner. Kate Snow, NBC News, East Northport, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.